How to make printable wall art in Canva to sell on Etsy. Create sizing, mockups, and lists on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am giving you a complete guide on how to create a printable wall art on Canva to sell on Etsy. So let's get into it. First of all, let me take you to Etsy.com so you can get an idea what kind of wall art you should create and what kind of wall art is actually trending. So on Etsy, we can actually sell digital products and they do pretty well. We can sell them from five to even $50. So creating a digital art is actually really easy with Canva. Of course, we can sign up and create the art. So here you can see, uh, we actually have a, you know, template available here for bedroom wall art sizes guys. So you can actually check out the different sizes before you get started. So uh, you can also go for a simple, uh, you know, A4 paper size, which is going to be something like this. And then you can search for what kind of niche you should go for. I can actually see on Etsy the aesthetic type of art. You can see, for instance, this one right here does pretty well. Uh, so we can create an aesthetic and digital uh, art, something like this with a figure of a woman or a man. This is actually for a faceless drawing, but we're going to go with a general design to sell on Etsy. So you can see we will get our inspiration from here. Uh, once you are ready to create a digital product, you can go to Canva. So canva.com is a designing tool that allows you to create presentations, edit your photos, videos, create digital art, create t-shirt prints, wall art, and much, much more. You can sign up for canva.com for free. If you want to, you can just use your email address or your Google account and you will land right here. So let's get into it. Let's create our wall art. For a wall art, I actually go with a simple A4 paper but you can actually get the sometimes it's actually customized your whatever your customer says they will give you the sizing according to their bedroom and what you can do is click on custom size here enter the width and the height and you will be able uh, to then create the art so i'm gonna go with the a4 size and get to the uh you know canvas so here we have for our wall art you can see this is the main you know canvas that we can go for so here i will create a wall art and then we will just list it on etsy when it comes to wall art we can use an element which can be a photo graphic we can use different stickers from canva we have different frames and tables and grids to use and then we have upload where we can upload different files from our computer and we can even upload our own art then we have text text is also an important part if you want to go for a wall art that has a text in it then you can use the text section right here then we have projects audio and apps so what I do is I actually create very simple art that it literally takes me like one to two minutes and then we can sell on Etsy for $10 or $12 or 15 even 20 So what I do is we can just change the background color. Um, for background color, you can go with any kind of color you want to. So I'm actually going for an aesthetic, uh, you know, art because that's what we checked on Etsy. Make sure to kind of like do your research before you create something. I'm going to select this color, but let's make it lighter so that it looks like this. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now what I will do is I will go to the elements here. And in elements, we can search for, let's say, a woman. And then I'm going to switch to graphics because graphics give you these kind of uh, graphics to use. And they look quite similar to what we saw on Etsy, right? It creates very aesthetic wall art that a lot of people like and they, you know, kind of like, like to decorate their rooms with it. So we first of all, we have this choice to go for like a simple outlining, a white outline, or we can go with a faceless uh, you know, graphic or something like that. So this was actually trending on Etsy, the faceless graphics that we have. So what I can do is I can just choose any of these from here, the one I like, and then we can just create our art. So I like this one right here. This one is actually pretty good. Or we can use something with flowers. We have this one right here too. Let's go with this one. And maybe I'll add some flowers by myself. So we're going to adjust this graphic and I'm going to actually place it. I'm going to make it bigger. So you just like the graphic and you move your mouse a little bit and it's expanded. And I'm going to place it right here at the bottom so that it looks like it's like painted on this canvas. So we have this here. Uh, now we can go to elements. I'm just going to search for different flowers if I like them. 
I'll add them to my wall art. Otherwise, I'll just leave it be. So in graphics, we have this. We have this one right here. Okay, we have this here. I'm going to click and send it in the background and see what it looks like. So I think this one actually looks pretty good now. We have this element to it, which is making it look more prettier. So once your wall art is done, actually mine is done here. And what I do now is I'm just going to download it as a PDF file because th this is really important when it comes to creating a printable art on Canva. We need to download the file as a PDF print. Keep that in mind. So what I will do is once the wall art is done, of course, you can do a lot if you want to. You can use the images. You can use text as well. Click on share option right here and then you're going to click on download. Once you click on download, you can also again resize your canvas according to you. Then you're going to click on the file type and select PDF print. Click on download and your file will be downloaded as a PDF printable file because this is the file that we will be selling as our digital product. So it should be a printable file. Now what you're going to do is we're going to also download this file as a PNG. Why we're downloading it as a PNG? Uh, because we will be, we need some images on Canva to show people what we have. So we're going to click on download and download it as a PNG. So once the file is downloaded as a PNG, as a PDF, we're ready for the listing. Now you can go to Etsy.com and you're going to click on add a new listing and it will take you to upload your file and to create a new listing. So in our listing, you can see the first section we have on Etsy, of course, is going to be choose an image. Now, here is the part that you need to keep in mind. If it says upload an image and I upload my PNG file here that I just downloaded my art, people can download or save the image of my art and it will not be original. I need to save my file as a PDF and I want people to buy it from me rather than just downloading the image. So that's the thing, right? For that, we create mockup images because if you check on Etsy, all of these images are mockups. You can see right here, this is a mockup. We have a frame and in that frame, we can check out our main image. Similarly, if I scroll down, this is a mockup right here. Then we have this mockup here. So we need to create a mockup. So again, no need to go to any other platform. We can use Canva to create mockups for Etsy. Click right here and search for wall art mockups and it will show you the results. And here we have the results for the mockup that we can create on Canva. So you can see this one is pretty good. Then we have all of these are wall art. So you can see it's giving me the freedom to add to show my art instead of just uploading the art image. So what we will do is we will just select any of these. Let's select this one. And this is what it looks like. You can see this is a mockup and all we need to do is we don't need to customize this image or edit it out. That's not how it works. All we do is we just add our, you know, PNG file or our image in this frame so that it creates this mockup. So for that, we're going to go to the upload section of Canva and upload the file that we just downloaded. So I'm going to click on upload files and select a PNG that we downloaded. So I'm going to select this one here. And it will be uploaded on Canva. So the PNG for my wall art has been uploaded. I'm going to select this image and it will be added right here. Now, all you need to do is just adjust it in the frame that you selected. For me, it's going to be this. So we're going to place it here and make it like a little bit smaller, like so. So you can see this is what it looks like. Now I have actually created a mockup for my Etsy listing which includes my art and I will be able to show people that this is the art that they will be downloading. Uh, we can actually create another mockup if we want to. So you can go to the design here and you can see we have a lot of other mockups that we can use. For now, I'm just going to, uh, you know, use this one. Click on share and we're going to download this as a PNG file. Simple. Click on download and the file will be downloaded. Now our work on Canva is done. We have created a wall art and we have also created a mockup image. All on Canva, you can create a wall art and download it as a printable file and you can download it as an image too and create mockups. So once you're done on Canva, we're going to get to our listing here and upload our mockup image that we just created. So the mockup image will be uploaded here. Now we can scroll down to add a video if you want to. 
we're going to add the title. So it's a printable wall art like this. And here we can, of course, do some of the settings like this. Now we have renewable options. So I'm going to go with manual. And here we have type physical or digital. So this is going to be a digital product because we will be uploading a file. Then we're going to add some description. Then we will add some tag materials. We will enter the price. I will be selling this art that I created for free for $12. Then we can scroll down and here we need to upload the file. Click on upload file and upload your PDF that we downloaded. This is going to be a printable PDF and the file will be uploaded on Etsy. You can see this is a PDF file that is printable. Click on save and continue and sell your printable wall art that you created with Canva. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help. And now you know how to create a printable wall art on Canva to sell on Etsy. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.